Good evening and welcome to the programme. I'm Alice Bandukravi. There's a warning tonight that London's ambulance service is facing a recruitment crisis because of the capital's high cost of living. The service says it faces a shortfall of around 600 paramedics and that it's looking overseas to recruit. It's now calling for a review of public sector pay to help retain its frontline staff. Here's our political correspondent, Carl Mercer. Okay, yeah, um, we're off to an urgent care centre at Guy's Hospital because there's not an A&E there. Alice Ridley wanted a frontline job in London. Eleven months ago, she got one. Um, and we're en route to a 67-year-old male who they believe is having a stroke. Alice is typical of the new recruits the London Ambulance Service does get. 24 years old, a graduate and keen to work in the capital where the job is at its most challenging. Pull them towards you and push them away. This is a side of the job that Alice enjoys. Alan has had a suspected stroke and will be taken to a nearby unit for treatment. But like many of her colleagues, the stint in London may not be forever. Long term, it depends where, which direction my career heads in, but I'm thinking that I'm going to have to move out to, to bring up a family or to buy a house. I just could not afford to do it in London. Being a graduate as well, I've, I've got a lot of debt, university debt, so I've come to London, I'm already in debt. So I'm definitely considering moving out in the future because I just cannot afford to stay and work in London. OK, so this is, this is, this is my wage thing. Jonathan Conway is already looking elsewhere. Australia, in his sights, pays a big issue. He earns £1,946 a month. His rent alone is 1500 You want to do a job in the, in, the, in the nation's capital that you're proud of, but, you, you know, you can't even afford to, to pay the rent or just about pay the rent. So what's the point? Yeah, that, that's basically what frustrates me. I come home and think, what, what is the point of my day? I've helped a couple of people, but have I moved myself on? I'm getting older. I want my family to, to, to uh, advance. I want more kids. But where am I going to live? Just squeeze my hands again. It's a real problem for London's ambulance service. In a submission to the London Health Board, it says if the current trend continues, it will have 600 frontline vacancies by the end of the year. In May alone, 30 paramedics left. In 2011 to 2012, 80 paramedics left the service, but that had nearly trebled to 238 last year. The real issue for us here is the high cost of living and working in London, not only for us, but all public sector workers. And the evidence we've submitted to the London Health Board and indeed to the National Pay Review Body is asking them seriously consider, to consider what more can be done to support all public sector workers with the true cost of living and working in a capital city. London's ambulance service is recruiting paramedics, not just here, but also from overseas. These are challenging times. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.